Hello, I'm Beverly. This is Catherine. Hello. She's my guest of the week, and we're going to do the Veg Box Challenge. Purple sprouting broccoli. Now this is gorgeous. She used the whole thing, including the leaves, and uh, we're going to make a uh, super duper easy supper. Okay. So like pesto. That. Do you like your kids like pesto? Yeah, they're good with pesto actually. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to make pesto with this. Nice. Okay. Lovely. Um, and they won't know it. They won't see it because it will just look like normal pesto. Yeah, in yeah. the stuff from jars. And it's <laughs> full of goodness because um, we're just going to chop the the bottoms off. Okay. And blitz it. Okay. Nice. That's what um, I like. Now nice simple. Add a little bit of um, a little bit of a change. We're mm. going to add some uh, pistachio yeah, nuts in there. Mm. If you don't want to use pistachio, you could just use pine nuts. Okay. And then some um, grated parmesan. You can pop in a handful of basil if you want and some really nice extra virgin olive oil. Now pesto, you don't have to just put it on your spaghetti. Um, you could pop it, you know, just pop it on your basic sandwich. Mm -hmm. um, some sliced chicken and some mozzarella. Oh, gorgeous, mm -hmm. you're a panini. Mm -hmm. okay. Or, you know, spice up your cheese on toast. Oh, okay. With a bit of pesto. Give it that bit of an Italian Fancy. <laughs> Roll some peppers. Put that on as well. Okay, nice. Just lovely. Mm. Um, what else can we do with pesto? Oh, roast veg. So if you've got some um, of your your veg still left over, just, you know, cube it. Any veg, like root veg. Any veg. Carrots root or... veg, carrots, onions, yeah. um, your squash, your mushrooms even, mm. and some your peppers. Cube them the same sort of size. Yeah. Toss them in, a little bit of olive oil. Thin your pesto down, or if you purple sprouting purple, your purple sprouting broccoli pesto down with a little bit more um, lemon juice or oil, and then just drizzle it over the top. Mm, Give nice. them a really good stir up, and um, that sounds good. I go for it. Actually, I think any of the little bit more, little bit more so just yeah. get rid of some of the, the hard. Some of that woody stalk. Yeah, because yeah. that's going to be a wee bit difficult. Yeah, keep that for guinea pigs. Yeah, going out. There's a guinea pig pile going over here. The best fed guinea pigs in bucks. Mind you, my dogs love this as well. <laughs> right, so that's not normal though, is it? <laughs> Brilliant. You see, you wouldn't even notice if you look at no. that, but it's not um, oh. your basil. It smells lovely, doesn't it? Mm. That's what I love. I do, I must admit, I do love, you know, cabbage and kale and all of those things. But again, purple spouting broccoli is one of those super foods mm. and it's great because it comes, it's English. As well, it's probably quite good. a few recipes in that book actually. That you... Right, best way to avoid getting pits in there because they can be a little bitter is if you squeeze it. Oh, yeah, over a little over tea, a tea thing or something. Yeah. Just to let them out, Jim, tea. Oh, oh, that lovely. looks good, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. because mm. you've got all the all the goodness in there, all the vitamins and minerals, nothing is lost. No. Um, because you haven't cooked it. No. It's not a very strong flavour. Mm. So you're not going to tell that, that, that you've is. actually um, you've got purple sprouting broccoli. So if you actually you could I'm never a great one of actually telling fibs to the children. Because no, don't always tell fibs. Don't tell the fibs. Just <laughs> tell them it's pesto. Just, Just tell don't them tell them it's <laughs> different, there's nothing yeah. in there. It's, it, it's kind of pesto. Yeah. It's not like that. Mm. And again, that should keep easily three or four days in the fridge. Mm. Um, That's nice, you can put it in a tub. Yeah, put it in a tub, put a little bit. Yeah. Um, and if you want to be really, really healthy, then use um, whole wheat spaghetti. Yeah, or, we do actually. Yeah, or buckwheat. Yeah, like I feel that. quite smug about that. Well, yeah. I sometimes do half and half, half white and half. But I like, I like all things whole wheat yeah. flour. I don't um, just think it always tastes good. More taste, I think, in yeah. the flappy. So there you go. Lovely. It's really nice. nice. Broccoli pesto. Yeah, lovely. Yay. Great. That's what I'm having for tea tonight. And that's so good. Do you want to I need them for that cup. And then you've got these. By the way, it's a bit of a Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Bottom of. If the mixture comes straight off the bowl, 